if you're growing your peppers indoors, which a lot of people do in the UK because it's too cold to grow them outside, you're probably going to come across one or two problems during that process. Or you might not know that there is a problem if you're a new grower. But there's certain things that you need to keep a lookout for. So what I'm going to do is go over a few things that may affect your peppers indoors and ways that you can prevent that from happening in the first place or solve any problems that are already occurring. You might notice on this one that the top leaves are starting to curl a little bit and that's also another problem with pepper plants. If you see the leaf curl you need to check underneath just to make sure you haven't got a disease or anything and it was mentioned quite recently on the channel that somebody said they had a bit of a problem. You need to check under all your leaves as always because nine times out of ten that's where your problem lies. You might notice that because you're growing your plants indoors the leaves start to roll up on top. If you look there you can see that leaf is rolling up and there could be a few reasons for that so since we've got a lot of people that are probably growing peppers indoors at the moment we'll go over those and then maybe find out a long way why yours are doing that if that's what they're doing. One thing that can cause your leaves to roll up to that extent is that they might be too close to grow lights. The light is too intense, it's too close so that leaf will start to roll up to protect itself so it stops photosynthesis. It's just a natural reaction for that plant to try and cover its surface up because it's getting too much light too constantly. So if you've got your lights only a few inches away from the tops of your plants and you notice that the leaves on the tops of your plants are starting to curl up, that's probably why. Don't reduce the amount of light your plants are getting because they do need a set amount of hours per day but move them slightly away from those lights. A good few inches, especially if you've got plants of that size. People do that because they don't want the plants to become leggy but your plants get leggy when they're very young seedlings. That's when they'll stretch. As they get more established, they'll stop doing that. So you don't need your lights as close. So that's one reason why you could see leaf curl. I've brought out a few plants today so I can show you different examples. This is one example as well. That's definitely worth looking at. This plant has got plant edema. And the way you can tell that is by looking under your leaves. As always, through the year, if you've got a problem, nine times out of ten, you'll find it underneath your leaves. Much like you do aphids a little later in the season. If I just turn that leaf up and put it close to the camera, I'm hoping it's going to actually focus on it. You might notice that this leaf has got a bumpy appearance underneath. And it also looks like it's slightly crystallised as well. I'm hoping you can see this. I'll try another leaf just in case. I'm hoping you can see this. What's happening with this plant to cause edema is that it's taking up too much water all at once. And because it's been grown indoors, it can't expel that excess moisture through its leaves. So it causes it to crystallise on undersides of your leaves. They come a little bit mottled looking and you get that very distinctive crystallisation. It's not the end of your pepper if it does that. But at the same time, you also notice there's a little bit of leaf roll as well, which could be a result of the same thing. And the problem you've got there is your plant's telling you it's not got good enough airflow. It's too stuffy indoors for your plants. So they're not transpiring adequately to get rid of moisture. So it's causing that on your leaves. And the trouble with that is, if you haven't got a fan to keep running 24 seven on your plants, which is something I won't do anyway, you can bring them outside and give them a bit better airflow. Cut right back on your watering. Let that plant dry out to some extent. But you can't just bring them out as I have done today and leave them out because those plants haven't been hardened off. You need to bring them out for a few minutes, 30 minutes or so a day. Don't put them in direct sunlight, but just put them outside so they're in a natural environment, so they're getting that airflow. There is natural sunlight there, 
but you don't want to bombard them with full sun constantly for half an hour or an hour because that's going to cause sun scald and that's going to cause your leaves to start rolling up again because they're trying to protect themselves from that intense light because even though the lights I've got indoors that they produce daylight brightness it's nothing compared to sunlight so you have to harden your plants off bring them out for a week or so half an hour a day just stick them somewhere so they can get that natural airflow and they can get a bit of dappling sun but not full sun and then they'll be fine but never leave them outside all day long because that's not going to help so you can see that that plant has definitely got edema you can see the little bumps on it you can see a bit of crystallization underneath those leaves so this plant needs drying out and it needs some airflow so I'll just bring it out I'll put it away from the sun let it get some air let it start to dry out and fix that plant if that doesn't work for you it's also caused by a lack of calcium so you need to give it a calcium boost as well and I've got something called Calmag which is about six pound to buy off eBay and that gives your plants a really good calcium boost and you get a little bottle but you only need a tiny bit so it lasts a long time so for me it's well worth investment and it also prevents blossom end rot and you'll get blossom end rot later in season on your peppers and your tomatoes so that will fix a couple of problems and this plant that I've got is basically the same it's got a bit of crystallization under leaves a few bumps to it so once again it needs that airflow and I'll make a, a little bit of a mixture of this Calmag up and probably give them a tiny bit of a calcium boost so I've covered all angles by doing that as a whole as peppers don't look too bad when you're growing them indoors you're gonna come across all these sorts of problems once we get to a point where we can leave them outside and we've hardened them off then they're gonna get that proper sunlight proper airflow and then you're just going to have a bit of a battle with things like aphids and slugs to compete with. There's always going to be something. But at the early stages of growing your peppers indoors, it's a few things that you're going to have to look into. And nine times out of ten, just a quick inspection of your leaves is going to pretty much tell you all you need to know. Just be aware that if your leaves do roll up really tightly, then the chances are, no matter what you do, those leaves will not unroll again. They've gone too far to go back to the original shape and as we discussed at the beginning that's probably due to them being too close to a light so they're trying to stop photosynthesis by curling up as tight as they can so even though these problems can be quite daunting especially to a new grower it's not the end of your pepper plants some plants however will start to go really yellow like this one you can see that that's not as green this leaf on the end doesn't look very healthy at all and that could be caused by overwatering. Overwatering will also cause your leaves to go misshapen, start to curl up, or they'll have again a bumpy appearance where the leaf looks like it's swelling. It's because it's taking up too much water and basically what's happening with that plant is you're drowning your roots. It's got too much water. This one has been left to dry out because it had that appearance of going yellow. So what we've done is we've stopped watering it just to dry it out. But what we do is we put a little bit of water around that stem and it goes straight down to the main part of your plant while the rest of this is drying out. And eventually this plant will recover because that leaf to me is too far gone to recover. And there's nothing wrong with just pinching that leaf off. And also those bottom leaves that we don't need anymore. We can take those off and it doesn't make that plant look great but it makes it look a little bit better and by doing that you can then monitor that plant and see if any more leaves start to yellow or any more leaves start to curl in this case that leaf was the only problem and we're now drying it out so that should fix that problem Overwatering is the most common mistake that new gardeners make especially when you're growing indoors because they're in a stuffy environment it's warm but it's not over warm so it's quite easy to over water your plants and if you get leaves above those first sets of leaves that are starting to turn yellow then you're definitely over watering it but majority of these plants look all right so I'm going to put them in here I'll keep them out at light they're going to get a bit of airflow I'll leave greenhouse door open so we're getting airflow all the time 
But your main thing is do not put them in direct sunlight, or so just start killing more leaves and burning leaves as well. But that's all for this video. Hopefully it's helped a few people out that might be scratching their heads at the moment thinking why my leaves curling? Why does this plant not look healthy? And there's quite a few reasons that could be causing that and we've gone over pretty much all of them. So hopefully you're going to have strong established healthy peppers by the time it gets to move them outside and you're going to get a really good harvest all through season. And if you want to see what we're going to be doing over the next few weeks on that lead up to spring please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell and I'll see you on the next one.